<laughs> so The Edge stars Anthony Hopkins, Alec Baldwin, and Harold Perrineau, and is a survival thriller about three men who crash land in the Alaskan wilderness, and sadly they have to fight off a bear who's hungry for their blood. Now, yet again, we're talking about another overlooked flick. I first saw this back when I was 10 years old, and it left a big impression on me because I had never seen a film like this before. But of course, 20 years later, I realized that we've seen this plot billions of times before. So I understand now why it's so overlooked. It's been buried amongst the billions of films out there with this exact same plot. But there is still enough greatness here to make this still feel fresh. The biggest standout for me is Anthony Hopkins. He's absolutely wonderful in this film. He's playing as a very poignant, dubious rich man, a billionaire to be exact, and he doesn't know if he can trust any of his friends. He doesn't know if his wife or his friends are only with him for his money. And he's become so used to being rich and having no real problems, he feels like his life has completely lost meaning. So when he's out there, stuck in the wilderness where his money cannot save him, he wonders to himself, does he even want to go back? Normally, this would feel like a forced B-plot, but here, you can just tell on Anthony Hopkins' face that his character has found some type of fulfillment now that his life lacks all of the things that have given him so much comfort. And now we have to talk about the legendary Bart the Bear. <laughs> Damn, man. All of the stunts involving this bear are wonderful. This isn't like The Revenant with a great big CGI bear. This bear is real. The camera work keeps our actors in with the action. Very rarely do they use stuntmen. You can actually tell that Anthony Hopkins is there running away from this scary brute. The tensions are always high and no spoilers, but there is a scene involving the bear that is, it just gets to be, man. I thought that sound from American History X, the head stomp sound, I thought that was disturbing, but here, no, I don't need that. Flaws wise, I will say that yeah, the plot, we've seen it many times before. The first 25 minutes are very basic, it feels kind of generic, the same typical setup with loads of plot exposition and here are the characters, blah blah blah. The wife character is just a plot device, she doesn't feel like a fleshed out character in the slightest. And as time goes by, when people start dying, none of the characters take any real time to talk about how they feel about it. I mean, one person dies and it's clearly someone else's fault, and yet, they never seem to feel a sense of guilt. Still, I don't care. I fucking love The Edge. You can get this for free on Disney+, Plus, so just check it out and see what you guys think. For my specific tastes, I'm gonna give The Edge an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Stay jiggy. The better appreciate you. <laughs>